Good morning, everybody. Like, subscribe, bell, face. Let's get to the video. morning. Coffee. Coffee for breakfast because coffee in my bones mug. Jack o' lantern, almond milk, pure, the foam topping, and pumpkin pie spice. I'm all about that pumpkin pie spice life. Pumpkin spice life. All about the pumpkin spice life. I am surviving on coffee and dry shampoo today. I have makeup on so I don't look as dead, just not as much makeup as yesterday. And it is time for me to go to work. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's a lot of orange reflecting. There is no way on God's green earth that it is 72 degrees in my house. It is freezing. It could just be that I've been like dormant and in one spot for a while. Um, I think I might make myself another cup of coffee. This one is, well, pretty much gone. Cold. Also, still need to do the dishes. But before I do that, let's do this. Oh, let's see what it's at. It's claiming it's 71 degrees in here on heat. I respectfully disagree. Let's see how it feels outside. It's a little, like, it's not humid. So 72 is, like, chilly. I think I want to put my hoodie on. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, so some lunch meat and cheese and coffee. I know it's a really weird combo. This is caramel apple by Bones with the stuff, almond milk, uh, unsweetened vanilla, and some pure. So I'm going to enjoy this and finish doing what I was doing. It 110% smells like I'm sitting inside of a box of Red Hots and I love it. I'm just saying. I am finally, I clocked out an hour or so ago, talked to my mom. Um, did some YouTube research for some things that I am going to do. And now I'm going, I don't know why I did that. Cause that light switch only turns it off. I'm going to clean my kitchen because there's that whole situation. Then there's that whole situation. We're throwing out this gallon of milk because it tastes weird. Yeah. I have not eaten since... The lunch meat, I do have a rotisserie chicken in the refrigerator that I'm going to make into chicken salad because we all know I don't like canned chicken. Um, but I'm gonna clean this up and then maybe clean the bathroom and charge my phone and do the stuff and the things and I will talk to you later. Before I start cleaning, I am gonna enjoy some lollies, I think. I might have a serving. Um, if you guys have not tried lollies, there is a link down below that you can use with my code to get 10% off. They're actually having a sale today, today being Friday when you guys will see, when you guys, when you guys will see the video. Use my code, get an extra 10% off the sale price of $13 a bag. I love me some lollies <laughs> and could really eat the whole bag in one sitting. Just throwing that out there. Not gonna, but I could because I'm a champ. So I listened to Nassine and I did this with a little bit of almond milk. I mean, that's like not a big bowl, right? That's like a meal prep bowl, like for spices and stuff. A mise en place bowl, if you will. This is delicious. A little unsweetened almond milk. Heck yeah. Before.
and after. Not bad. I have a couple things that I still need to get cleaned up, you know, like my hair is crunchy and my receipts and my can of soda. But I'm very happy that that's cleaned up. <laughs> okay, so if I have to hear one more person talk about these damn drop biscuits, I'm going to lose my mind. Everybody makes them and I've hardly made anything but like sloppy joes out of this cookbook. This is the Southern Cooking... Southern Keto? Yes, Southern Keto Cookbook. I actually have everything to make these. So I got the oven preheating to 400. And now I'm going to make all of these. Hopefully they are as good as everyone says they are. All right, so I got all the stuff. I got some good eggs, I got some butter, I got some sour cream, almond flour, baking powder, and I already said butter. I think I just need some salt. Am I the only one that does this? Like, instead of sifting it, I just kind of beat it with a whisk. I am absolutely mixing this together with a butter knife. Okay, so it is all mixed together, and now I gotta let it sit for five minutes. I think I achieved that with very minimal mess. Alright, so, these are my biscuits. I got 14 because I just used a standard cookie scoop. So I'm gonna throw these in, I'm gonna underbake them a little bit. Um, she says they're supposed to be done between 10 and 12 minutes, I'm gonna check mine at 8 because they're smaller. Alright, so these are my drop biscuits. Like they wound up going for like 15 minutes. Are they supposed to like be more golden brown? They feel dry. I'm concerned. Okay, so here are my biscuits. I am definitely not mad at these. They are way better once they are cooled down. <laughs> um, a little bit of spray butter because why not just use all the chemicals? Pretty damn good. All right, so this is dinner. I have some ranch, bacon, cheddar, chicken salad, and two of the biscuits. I will see you guys in the morning. Oh.